Hammer time. One of my favorite days of the week and one of my favorite segments, and it's a busy one. Yeah. Uh, and we also have a special movie review we do. coming up. Stay tuned for that. I couldn't get to them all this week, so we're going to have a little help from our friends at KISS Radio. First off, the Lego Batman movie. I absolutely love 2014's The Lego Movie. I was a little uh, anxious, though, about a spinoff with uh, Will Arnett's Batman character front and center, but you know what? It was delightful, good for the whole family. And in the clip we're going to look at, it features the incomparable Ray Fiennes as Alfred. Here you go. Master Bruce, you live on an island figuratively and literally. Yeah, I love it. You can't spend the rest of your life alone, dressed in black, listening to angry music and staying up all night. Yes, I can, because I'm Batman. But don't you think it's time you finally faced your greatest fear? Snakes? No. Clowns? No. Snake clowns? Bruce, listen. Your greatest fear is being a part of a family again. No, nope. now it's snake clouds because you put that idea in my head. <laughs> do, do we need the Kleenex? <laughs> you know what? That's a great point. What this movie does brilliantly is uh, provides a great Batman story uh, while also lampooning every single version of the character we've seen going all the way back to the Adam West days, but also examines the emotional journey that Bruce Wayne and Batman are on in terms of his loneliness and sort of being in denial about that. So it was actually very deep and had some resonant themes despite it being this vivid, animated, you know, family-friendly flick. It doesn't quite have the wild imagination or the magic of the first Lego movie. Uh, that's because they're sort of contained to that Gotham City universe, right? And the plot doesn't really rewrite the uh, playbook. You've got the Joker, he's got his band of uh, bad guys, and they uh, have a, um, you know, harebrained scheme, and... Um, Batman has to team up with all his buddies to foil that plot. You've got uh, Michael Sarah providing the vocal talents for uh, Robin, so you've got some nice Canadian content here with Arnett and Sarah uh, as uh, fellow Canucks. But you know what? It's got so much great humor. The action is incredible, and it looks dazzling on the big screen. So, uh, yeah, if you were wondering if this was going to be a cynical cash grab, don't worry. There's a lot of depth here. I should say, Don, it is one giant toy commercial. Now. Really? Yes, oh, yeah. of course. Well, why not, right? Some of the vehicles, I was like, I want to Google this to see if it's real, and they are. You you can get them uh, right now as, as Lego play sets. But you know what? I was very delighted with this one. Uh, take the whole family. You're going to love it. A lot of energy here. So I am going to go with four out of five for the Lego Batman movie. Wow. Yeah, well Big deserved. One. Excellent, excellent. Okay, you've also got uh, Patterson. Yeah, from the opposite end of the spectrum, if this isn't your thing, you got to check out Adam Driver and Patterson. And uh, this is from acclaimed writer-director Jim Jarmusch. I absolutely love this guy. Uh, one of his uh, last films was Only Lovers Left Alive with Tilda Swinton and uh, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, but this is a great movie about Adam Driver as a New Jersey bus uh, uh, driver who is named Patterson and also lives in Patterson, New Jersey. Are you with me? I, I got it. And he moonlights as an amateur poet as well. This is a totally unapologetic movie about a guy just kind of coming to terms with who he is and, you know, his musings on everyday life. So it's uh, just brimming with introspective themes and uh, pitch-perfect performances. It's almost like a stage play because some of the actors in the movie, they only have one scene, and uh, it kind of makes it a little more... The, the impact is a little more there uh, because they, they only have these uh, little moments, you know? So it is a really original uh, story and shows you the true power of intelligent filmmaking and a career best performance here for Adam Driver. So what's it going to be, Thor? I'm just saying it's a little bit slow, borderline on tedium at okay. times. That kind of held me back from a five, but this is a fantastic film, four out of five. Wow, yeah. two fours. I know. That is amazing.